A specific way of eating is only suitable for you if you can sustain it in the long run. The healthiest diet on earth is not worth following if you fall off the wagon again and again. Finding the healthiest diet for you should be your goal. And that means gaining knowledge about nutrition, trying out new things, learning new healthy recipes and making compromises. This video is about the traffic light system by Dr. Michael Greger from nutritionfacts.org. An easy to understand classification of foods into green, yellow and red light foods. Foods to maximize, foods to minimize and foods to avoid. With this tool at hand, it becomes that much easier to find a way of eating that is both healthy and sustainable long term. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Nothing bad added. There are many ways of processing food. In general, processing does not always equate to foods getting more unhealthy. They might even get healthier. One aspect of processed foods actually getting unhealthier is if something bad is added. This includes salt, oil, sugar, harmful preservatives, chemicals, etc. But also preparation methods, such as broiling, that add carcinogenic or otherwise harmful compounds, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Many bad additions to food can be avoided by cooking from scratch, not adding too much salt, oil and sugar in the process, and to prefer cooking methods, such as steaming or boiling, over frying and broiling. Nothing good taken away. Another aspect of processed foods getting unhealthier is if something good is taken away. Sugar and oil can be seen as the culmination of this idea. They do not resemble the plant foods they are made of at all. Something good being taken away often applies to processed plant foods. The health promoting aspects of whole plant foods include their combination of high nutrient content and low calorie density, their high content of antioxidants, phytonutrients and of course fiber. The processing of whole plant foods to make jam, flour based products, mock meats etc. always comes with the removal of water and fiber and thus the concentration of calories at the cost of many health promoting nutrients. Processed exceptions. There are some exceptions of processing steps making foods healthier or enabling them to offer different health benefits, either by taking away something bad or adding something good. One example is cacao powder. The whole cacao bean contains high amounts of saturated fat, which is removed in the process of making cacao powder. Another example is vinegar and fermented foods. These processed plant products offer different health benefits than the original whole plant foods they are made of. Cooking different foods such as carrots or tomatoes can make certain nutrients more bioavailable. In a sense, this also adds something good. Green light foods. Now that we have defined the term processed in more detail, we can take a look at the classification of foods into Dr. Greger's traffic light system. The green light category contains the foods we should try to maximize in our daily diet, which are unprocessed plant foods, including whole plant foods such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, and plant foods where nothing bad was added and nothing good has been taken away. This obviously includes higher calorie dense foods. This classification is not about calories, but the overall health effects. So go for your homemade oil-free hummus and your occasional chocolatey treat made with nuts, dates and cacao powder. Yellow light foods include processed plant foods and unprocessed animal products. The processed plant foods cover a broad range, from plant-based milk, tofu, pasta, some flour products, even fries, some mock meats and some healthier plant-based snacks, etc. Unprocessed animal products include hard-boiled eggs, milk and unprocessed and uncured meat prepared with moist preparation methods. Obviously, some foods in this category are healthier than others, for example tofu and some mock meats, easily beating even unprocessed meat products in terms of their health benefits. These foods are not too bad, but still should make up only a smaller part of your daily diet. Red light foods include ultra-processed plant foods and processed animal products. 
These ultra-processed plant foods include sugar, all kinds of oil, sweets, cakes, dry snacks, many vegan cheeses and lunch meats, etc. The processed animal products include fried eggs, cheese and all kinds of processed meat products, bacon, sausage, ham, lunch meat, burgers, fried chicken, most meat products really, including all meats that are fried or broiled. These red light foods should be avoided. In comparison, they provide far fewer health-promoting nutrients and often come with harmful, often carcinogenic compounds. Making compromises As stated in the beginning, you need to find the healthiest diet suitable for you. If you have to add a little bit of oil or salt, but it helps you eat mostly green light foods, go for it. If you use plant-based milk for your porridge, great. If you have plant-based milk to dip your cookies, eh. If you eat mock meats instead of processed meat products, great progress. How healthy of a diet we can choose to eat depends on so many factors. The availability of healthy ingredients, the family setting, work setting, sleep, stress and many more. We hope this video can help you make better food choices, but also not to stress too much about it. We will link Dr. Gregor's video down in the description. What are your thoughts on this traffic light classification? Let us know by leaving us a comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.